the case against three deep slurred community leaders has been postponed yet again. Lefang Kala, Loiso Toia and Jack Shongwane were arrested following several violent protests against crime in the area. They face charges including intimidation, incitement to commit violence and damage to infrastructure. ENCA's Heidi Jokos was following the story for us and she joins us now live in our Joburg studios. Heidi, uh, the matter has been postponed once again and the magistrate giving a stern warning to the state. What happened? Yes, um, Sakho, the magistrate indeed giving a stern warning to the state. Uh, this is not the first time there has been a call for a postponement or a request for a postponement by the state. Uh, the last time uh, the three appeared in court, there was a request from the state for a postponement due to the fact that they were waiting for a Johannesburg Roads Agency uh, report in terms of that charge of uh, damaging infrastructure. Um, and this time around, the state asked for a further postponement, this time to deal with um, the downloads from uh, the cell phones of the three accused. The three accused, of course, indicating that um, their cell phones have been confiscated now for almost two months and uh, their legal teams are standing up in court and saying that they find the request for another postponement unacceptable. The accused cannot keep coming to court and the state is not ready to proceed with the matter. Uh, of course, all three accused maintain that they are innocent and this is nothing but politically motivated. Uh, and the, uh, the magistrate rather saying this is the last postponement that she is granting and uh, the next time they appear, which is at the end of October, the state must be ready to continue with the matter and they cannot continue with uh, further investigations. They should be in a position where they are ready given the fact that this, uh, the matter started in June this year. Uh, let's listen to what the accused had to say after court where they basically feel that this is nothing but politically motivated and uh, they remain that they are innocent and how emotionally draining this is for all three of them. We are, you know, on this journey because for, you know, the people of Deep Slot, it gives us a strength, mm -hmm. you know, and we are happy about the stand warning from the magistrate. We have been saying this thing from the onset, that this is politically motivated. You know, the investigating officers, you could see them here with their tails, you know, between their legs. We can see that they've got nothing to, to, to do because it is even difficult for themselves. We are innocent. Now, they were saying we are guilty of something. They can't prove it now. Mm -hmm. They keep on, you know, giving the magistrate and this court excuses. But uh, lies have a very short legs. 27th will arrive there of October. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you now, the court will set us free mm -hmm. because we are free indeed. All right, now, Heidi, the situation in Deep Slurred uh, still remains tense, according to the leaders. Yes, exactly. Uh, just last week or the week before, Masekho, we do know that three people were gunned down basically in their homes while they were sleeping. Um, and uh, just after that, we know that the community took matters into their own hands. There was a case of mob justice, uh, an alleged robber in the area, and the community decided to take matters into their own hands, which uh, the community leaders feel as though this is uh, unfortunate, but it is the only way that the community can really take matters into their own hands because they feel as though police have um, neglected them, police are not doing what they want, uh, what the community wants them to do in terms of really arresting these criminals. Um, and uh, uh, community members continue to live in fear. Masako, um, they want the president to address their concerns. They are still calling for President Cyril Ramaphosa to attend to their matters and to their concerns and issues. Just last week, there was a peaceful legal march that happened um, in, in, in the community of Dipslurt. But the community still live in fear. They feel as though they are still being terrorized by what they call this syndicate that has declared war on the community of Dipslurt. Um, and as much as the accused are frustrated with the fact that they still have to be in court and uh, this matter is, according to them, dragging on and is politically motivated, they want uh, their issues to be addressed. And if it takes this court case for the president to understand the severity of this matter, the accused are saying they will go right ahead and continue with their uh, pleas, their, their marches and their concerns. Let's listen once again to the accused. You know, the situation in Deep Slot is very tense and we have been making a call for the president to come to our area. Seemingly he don't want to, to come. 
and you know the unfortunate event of our people in deep slot taking the law into their own hands those are the things that we don't want to see remember we are raising kids in deep slot if someone will be killed openly like that but they found themselves without no any other option but to defend themselves we, i don't know how many people they are waiting for uh, uh, to die for them to to take this matter serious no results at all there were engagements that were happening hence we have decided in the previous week to have a legal match to say we are still dying while we're engaging uh, with, with the presidency people are dying on the ground police must do their work we're still waiting for them we engage with them and ask them uh, why wh what keeps you uh, uh, now uh, 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 not engaging with us anymore they've told us that they were busy with bricks it seems like BRICS is more important than our lives. All right, Hadi Jokos, with that update, let's leave it there for now.